Our idea was that we would have um, paddle boards but we'd make them so that they, a bike could fit in. It would get used by anyone who had a bike, like there'd be, the boards would be at docking stations all along the Waikato River and all you had to do was walk or ride your bike down the bank, slot your bike into the slots, clip it in and off you go. We thought that at the start um, people would be like, oh we have never thought of that before. Um, and that's how what we wanted our project to be like. In Hamilton there's way too much traffic. So me and my group, we decided to make a plan of to make electric trains to get everybody off the road, or well, as many people as we can. If we can do that, we can make it so there's less traffic all the time and we can just get to school easier and nobody has to, there won't be as much car crashes or anything. I worked on a project about bullet trains going from Hamilton to Tauranga. And so this year we went on a school camp in Tauranga and it took us three whole hours on a bus and we all really wanted to get there. And it was so hot and boring and the Kaimais were just packed up with traffic. Um, so we, when we were introduced to future transport we tried to think of a way that could help us with that traffic problem of how, why it took so long to get from Hamilton to Tauranga. Um, I would like to see less traffic and less fumes in the air and stuff to make it more breathable for younger kids and just to make their lives better. It was really cool that the kids were being given an opportunity to show what they think would be a really good idea for transport because a lot of the times adults can be really tunnel visions and they don't, they're not as creative as kids and like some kids are really creative and they might have a really, really creative idea, but it's so simple that it can be put into effect almost immediately. Well, I think we have a bright future now because all the young minds are going to help this new world.